It is Women's Month, so let's celebrate some unbelievable women. Now, only a handful of people in South Africa have mastered stem cell reprogramming, and even fewer women are in this field. My next guest is one of them. 34-year-old Dimakatso Gumede has studied the role of gene mutation that causes skin and lung fibrosis using a scientific method called induced pluripotent stem cells. She currently works at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, that's a CSIR, and is here in studio with us. It is so good to see you and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much for having me, Leanne. Congratulations on the work that you're doing, but I have to confess up front, I have no idea what it's all Sounds about. Sounds mouthful, eh? It is a mouthful. <laughs> Talk to me, what does it all mean? Our pluripotent stem cells are actually cells that can become any cell type in the body. And mainly they have been known to form a human being or any animal which are embryonic stem cells. But the scientists have actually made breakthroughs in creating induced pluripotent stem cells from uh, uh, adult cells. So you can take a skin cell and turn it back into an embryo embryonic-like cell that can become any cell type in the body. It's quite incredible, actually. And, mm -hmm. I mean, this, this, this form of technology, this form of stem, stem cell reprogramming yes. is, is massive. And I think this is a glimpse into, can I say, into the future, or is it already happening in a big way now? It's happening in a big way, uh, but still also uh, in phases where we are trying to make sure that anything that we do doesn't affect human beings in the long run. There are no adverse side effects as we go on with, it, with yeah. the research. So... Before we get a little bit more technical about it, I mean, what attracted you to this? Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm a UCT uh, student, a PhD scholar, uh, currently waiting for my um, results, yeah. thesis PhD re results to come through. But it attracted me because of my supervisor, the late Professor Bongani Mayosi, and he's been working on... He, um, families, South African families, uh, that have a rare genetic disorder. But that rare genetic disorder is multi-factorial, uh, that it affects the lungs, it affects the skin, it affects the muscle. So the whole technology of stem cells is that we can make stem cells to any cell that we want to study. And if we want to study lung fibrosis, for example, that we can turn those cells into lung cells. Or yeah. we can turn them into skin cells or even muscle cells. So that's what attracted me to it. That is, I mean, it's incredible. This is, it's phenomenal work. And that's actually the, that, that, that was the basis of your thesis as yes. well. You say you're waiting for your results yeah. to come through. Oh, well, <laughs> good luck for that. I Thank hope it goes much. well. But I mean, uh, this is something very important. I mean, can, mm. you, can you give us a little bit more? I mean, how does that change the way we are and operate and how things are studied going forward? What we're doing actually is to create cellular models to study specific diseases. For example, uh, in our lab at the CSIR, we are using uh, stem cells to make liver cells to study how adverse drug reactions are happening in the African population because they have such a diverse genetic variation. So that helps us to look at the drugs or study different kinds of drugs and see which ones cause uh, liver toxicity in African individuals. And that we can actually uh, um, recommend or propose the recommended doses which will help those individuals yeah. and also assist as well into which drugs to avoid for people who have those um, variations that help them to not respond well to the different drugs. Now, I think what is so great, I mean, you, I'm conducting this interview in English. Mm. I think I understand English quite well. Yes. But anybody who doesn't understand English, mm. I mean, this must be listening to your worst nightmare come true. But the most amazing thing with you is that you communicating in Isizulu, yes. uh, Sisutu, mm. and I think those are the two yeah, languages. Yeah, the most languages as those well. Are good, you know? And yeah. Guni languages yeah. as well. And, and that is incredible because mm. to try and take all of that and make it more um, understandable for the larger mm. community is huge. How are you going about doing that? That, I have to say that it helps to do Sisutu in, as a first language in high school because yeah. we know that due to our history, you know, most of the schools still have English as a first language, yes. you know, and yeah. I think it's really a good idea to have students and have pupils learn the native languages and that way they will help to communicate 
educate even to their grandparents and their parents about science because really we have to communicate science to every South African in order to understand what we're doing as scientists and medical practitioners. It is so important and I'm so glad that you're doing that because I mean it really, as I said, up front, mm. even for me, listening to this in English is kind of, uh, as I said to you mm. in the beginning, you know, this is difficult for mm. me to understand. But imagine not even speaking English and having to try and understand That's that. And true. so I'm, I'm so, so glad you're doing this. But in terms of, of black females in this profession, mm. are there many? Are you breaking down walls and, and sort of creating opportunities where there were none before? We have to. There haven't been a lot of women getting into science. And yeah. because science have been mystified in such a way that, you know, it's too hard. Mathematics is not easy to understand. S physics and biology are not easy to understand, but it's time to break down all those demystifying the science itself. And I'm hoping that there are women who are getting there. And mm. I was very fortunate to be mentored by females as well who encouraged me to say, you can do it. Yeah. You know, if you put your mind into it you can do it yeah. and you can learn it, you can understand. And they made it so exciting and so fun to learn and enjoy. And I'm here. That is amazing. We are so proud of you. you. And you just keep on doing whatever you're doing and breaking down barriers and shattering glass ceilings and so all of those predictive terms that we all use during this month. Mm. But we genuinely mean it. And you're Thank a shining you. light for us. Thank you for coming to talk to Thank us. Thank you very much. So nice. Um, Dimokrato Gumede, she's only a handful of people in South Africa. And I, I think I might be as bold as to say on the continent, actually. Not necessarily just in, Af in South Africa, who have mastered stem cell reprogramming. All right, we're going to take a break here on the program. Sports news after this. Do stay tuned.